Hi, everyone. Don't be sick. Um, there are some people cleaning our windows today, so Pretty special guest sure. cameo appearance. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Which was sound about washing the windows? I'm doing shapes today, so you want to think of a shape song that has to do with washing you can wash different shaped yeah. windows okay inspiration anyway hello everyone happy thursday we are going to be doing some more academics today and today's theme is going to be shapes so i'm going to do a couple songs with some shapes and then we'll do a little breathing exercise at the end and a little goodbye and hopefully that the window washing is not too disruptive Okay, so, as I've mentioned several times before, I love ice cream, so <laughs> a lot of my things are ice cream themed, because why not? Um, I like to use this one, I really hide this one away for most of winter, honestly, and um, I have a similar activity that's snowmen, and so I do, I'll do that one in the winter and then bring this one out for the summer. Um, so I found this template online, I think I'm, actually I definitely posted the link on the blog. It's a really fun one. Then I cut everything out and just pasted it onto like a one solid color of cardstock, but you could totally do it in other ways. And I put Velcro just so pieces don't get lost as easily. So we're going to do this one and there's many different ways you can do it. I'm going to show one way and I'll kind of explain the others. So this is the slider. <laughs> you cannot with that guy in the background. <laughs> oh, sir. So that's only you could do it. You could say the shape, and then um, whoever's doing the activity would have to find the shape, and then also find the match. Oops, I forgot to show that there are little shapes that match. So usually I have these laying out. I'll do like choices of two again today. Um, another thing that I've done, if shapes, if um, the client I'm working with is not necessarily familiar with shapes yet, I, you can do colors. These are all different colored. So I'll say, let's find the purple shape, or whatever. Sometimes I'll say, let's find this shape, and just point to it so that they don't necessarily need to know the name. But for today's purposes, I'm just gonna say the shape and we're gonna find it together. So I said square, this is the square. It has four sides and we are gonna find the ice cream that goes onto the square. So I'm gonna hold up some choices and we are gonna figure out which one will fit. Yeah, here's the square and then Sometimes I'll have them just find the, the colored shape and then also have to find the match. So there's tons of different ways you can do this, which is kind of fun. All right, we are gonna put the square on the square. And what color is this square? Yeah, it's orange. Square orange ice cream. All right, we're gonna do another shape. Okay, so here are some choices for star. Which one's a star? Yeah, this one right here. And now we're gonna look at our board and figure out where the star will fit. Let's see, does it fit here? No. Does it fit here? No. Fits right there. What color is the star? It's yellow. Yeah. All right. On to the next shape. choices. Hmm. Which one's a triangle? There it is. Triangle has three sides. Gotta figure out where it fits. 
Hmm, doesn't fit there. Doesn't look like it fits there. Oh, look. It fits right there. What color is the triangle? It's green. Yep, a green triangle. All right, here's our next one. our circle. Here are some choices. Uh, the circle is right over here in this hand. So a circle doesn't have any sides. It's round. You gotta find where the circle goes. Does it go there? Oh, it doesn't look like it fits there. Does it go there? doesn't really look like it fits there either. Let's see if it fits here. Oh, look at that. Circle, circle. They match. What color is this circle? It's purple, a purple circle. It's kind of a little tongue twister. Okay. Oops. for a heart this time. Yeah, right here. Here is our heart. So we only have two ice cream cones to fill up now. Does it fit there? Mm, I see some white still, so it doesn't fit there. Does it fit here? Yeah. What color is it? It's a little hard to tell with this background, but it's pink. And then I might also ask, when, what, what holiday do you usually see a lot of hearts around? Especially pink ones. Yeah, Valentine's Day. Sometimes you make cards for your family or your parents that are shaped like hearts. All right, we have one more shape to go. This is the only one left. This is called a diamond. Sometimes the shape is also called a rhombus. I've seen that more if it's facing this way, but for this game, we're gonna call it a diamond. Kind of looks like a shape of a kite. All right, we're gonna put it on our last space. There it goes. And what color is the diamond? It's blue blue diamond. Look at that. We have all our ice creams. They're pretty yummy. And then I'll usually ask, which one's your favorite shape? So I said earlier, my favorite shape is a star. Which one's your favorite? Which one do you like? Cool. All right, we're gonna move on to a different activity here. This is one that all of us at Tone Marks use a lot. It's a, it's a favorite. So I'm gonna use a whiteboard and a whiteboard marker. You can use paper, you can use anything that you are able to write on. So I'm gonna try to do it by myself. Is that okay? I'm an independent lady. Um, so this is how I usually do it. And I do have a drum over here just to tap along uh, when we sing the song. So first I'm gonna do the song and we'll figure out some shapes. There was a man lived on the moon, on the moon, on the moon. There was a man lived on the moon, and his name was Aiken Drum. Something that I do at my schools is I'll usually have a smaller drum and hold it up and have um, the students tap on the word drum. So working on sort of impulse control and just playing one time. It can be really tricky instead of when you see a drum, you want to play it a million times. So just doing 
one time someone's name was Aiken Drum. So you can tap on a table. You can use whatever to do that, but it's kind of fun to try to hit the drum or whatever you're tapping right on that word and sing it at the same time. It's even trickier. So this is how I usually do it. I draw a shape. Sorry, this is kind of big. I might need to back up a little bit. I will say his head was made of a circle, a circle, a circle. His head was made of a circle and his name was Aiken Jump. So there are other ways you could do this. You could have, you could draw the shape first and have them identify it. I actually have some uh, laminated little shapes over here that I usually pass out to my clients or to my students and they have to figure out who has the circle and then they'll match it that way. So we're gonna do something like that today. Kind of like what we did with the ice creams. I'm gonna show two shapes we're going to figure out which one is the circle. Yeah, there it is. The size is probably going to be a little bit different than what's on here, but actually that's pretty close. So, head was made of a circle. Another thing I really like to do with some of my students is have them choose either the shape or what body part they want it to be. So I'll say, you have a diamond. What what should be a diamond? And it's fun for them to think of what body part could be a diamond. But today, I'm going to be choosing the shapes just for um, video's sake. All right, we are going to make a body. I'm going to draw it and start singing. His body was made of a square, a square, a square. His body was made of a square. And his name was Aiken Drum. There's the square. We're going to find the matching square. All right, we have two shapes here. Which one is the square? To figure that out. There it is. Yeah, this one's a lot smaller than the square we drew, but it's the square. The square is orange. All right, I think we should add some eyes. His eyes were made of hearts, hearts, hearts. His eyes were made of hearts, and his name was Aiken Drum. There are some hearts. All right, which one of these is a heart? There it is, our pink heart. Eyes were made of hearts. Okay, I think we're gonna add a mouth next. I'm gonna flip this around so I can actually draw it. His mouth was made of a crescent moon. This is kind of a tricky shape. A crescent moon, a crescent moon. His mouth was made of a crescent moon. So that's what this shape looks like. I'm just gonna show this one. This one's a little harder. So it looks like a moon in the sky. This shape is called a crescent. I like to say crescent moon, just cause then you can have both of them in there. Ooh, it matches my nails too. All right, a crescent moon. He looks like, does he, does he look like he's feeling happy or sad with this kind of face? Yeah, happy. Kind of put it facing like a smile. If I was, if I put it like this, he might look more sad. Let's add some arms. His arms were made of ovals, ovals, ovals. His arms were made of ovals, and his name was Aiken Drum. All right, we're gonna find an oval. Which one is an oval? Yeah, here it is, oval. 
So this picture has two ovals, one for each arm. What do you think we should add? Hmm. I think he needs some legs. His legs were made of rectangles, rectangles, rectangles. His legs were made of rectangles. There they are. And his name was Aiken Drum. There are the rectangle legs. Let's find our rectangle shape. Here's our rectangle. It's purple. So the rectangles on the board are a little bit different size, but they are the same shape. We have a couple more shapes that we need to use. I think I see two more shapes we need to use. So we're going to add some hands. His hands were made of stars, stars, stars. His hands were made of stars. Oop, I'm a little squished on one of the sides. And his name was Aiken Drum. All right, there's the squish star over there. Let's look at this one. <laughs> All right, two star hands. They kind of look like fingers, kind of crazy fingers, but... Okay, let's find our star. Which one's a star? Hmm. Here it is, our star is right here. Green star. All right, last shape we're gonna do is a diamond. I'm thinking, I always like to add in a belly button. I think that's kind of fun. So we're gonna do, his belly button was made of a diamond. A diamond, a diamond. His belly button was made of a diamond. And his name was Aiken Drum. There it is. Let's find our diamond. Mm, which one's a diamond? Here it is, a gray diamond. All right, so here is our final picture. It's a silly looking guy, but each time you do this song, you can make it totally different, which is super fun. It can look however you want it to look. You could add feet. I had friends add hair and ears. There are other shapes you could use, but this is a fun one for just doing some drawing and creative stuff while learning your shapes. One of our favorites here, ache and drum. All right, everyone, we are gonna do some breathing and a little goodbye, and then we will be done for today. Let's breathe in, two, three, four, and out. This time we're going to try like you're blowing a big bubble. We're going to go, we're blowing out a candle on your birthday.
for watching. I'm doing a little goodbye. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to everyone. Oh, it's time to say goodbye to everyone. Oh, it's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. It's time to say goodbye to everyone. Bye, everyone. I will see you again tomorrow. Have a good rest of your day.